Maybe someone will buy us. We cannot, we cannot direct that. But I hope we hope in the CEO that will allow us to go public and, and have the center of the healthcare IT from their share. That's our dream. It's, it's somehow related to Finland. But it's not. But that's why it was important to me. But again, maybe DB wants someone to buy us, and that's a different game. By the way, we have a very, very big deal in the union in Pittsburgh. Uh, we've got a few from Pittsburgh, and I am here. So you being C, you know, you being C? Yeah, you can see it takes it over the world. Okay. You can see the huge uh, um, medical, yeah. medical center of about 20 hospitals, about 40,000 employees, and they actually selected the motion uh, as compared to IBM. They tried the IBM and selected the motion and invested about $25 million in the company, $20 million in our product, and actually opened the gate for us. An unbelievable opportunity for us. And we are, we are opening right now a design center in Pittsburgh. So we have design center in Beersheba, headquarters in Hala Sharon, and design center in Pittsburgh. Hopefully it will be, we say, one of the antics of the healthcare IT business. Hmm. So that's a bit, and I'm, and I'm helping different entrepreneurs of startup who want to get advice and bring in voluntarily to help them uh, how to build a company, how to build your strategy, how to bring it to market, uh, how to build your board, all these all this elements. Uh, because I truly believe that if we have a strong industry here in Israel, we will be strong in in IBM, um, we got it together. It's a, it's a membership organization. Uh, being a member of IBM, if IBM, you put between $5,000 a year to $50,000 a year yearly. It's a lot of money for individuals, mainly for individuals. People pay, you donate 100 checkbooks here and there. To donate $20,000 every year is a lot of money for Israelis. We're very proud that about half of the, the members are Israelis and we, we collect money here from our members is the same amount we collect from the US members. Mm. Uh, we probably the large organization is the individuals pay so much to be a member. We want to build it, uh, it's under Israel Adventure Network, so we are activity will be in Israel, so the adventure activity, venture philanthropy, meaning we'll contact several ideas from the business culture and build venture philanthropy, and which we can talk later on what, what we mean by venture philanthropy. And it's a network. We like to build a network of, of our people that can be networked to other people that eventually we can make a chain of network that have, we can help each other to do something, to do things better for the community. It's a learning organization. We didn't know anything about what we still want to be what we would like to do. Uh, we started at the beginning by we would like to improve uh, literacy in Israel, or mathematics in Israel. Um, we're not thinking be different, not that we don't do that, but we believe our strength is not so much to how to teach literacy and how to do mathematics, but to help the people who are responsible to do mathematics and Hebrew and literacy to choose the right program for literacy and be sure they do it right and not we select for them the program. We like to empower them. They can take responsibility and do it and we can help them do it by providing them tools. So basically IBM runs like a public company. We have a board every two months, we have members meeting, we have uh, a uh, large vote three times a year. Uh, all information is very transparent. You can see our annual report is very much like a high tech company. It's a very professional annual report. Um, um, it's run basically like a, like a public company, a lot of governance. And you cannot um, uh, make a decision without different committees. Uh, financially, very, very transparent and so forth. Um, each of the initiatives that we are uh, Dealing with, we have a member which volunteer with take responsibility. So the chairperson always is a volunteer. That is the chairperson of this activity. And we have a staff. Our staff is about 50 people, 10 in the field, 5 over at meeting management, uh, fundraising, and so forth. But on each, on each activity, we have a member who is responsible. Um, the involvement of the members created something that we brought in the culture of the high tech into our organization. And indirectly, we started to affect other organization to think like us. Meaning our, uh, and our initiative are always with specific objective. We set up the objective. We decide how to measure it. Um, we do partnership. We never work alone. We do partnership. We always set a strategy of exit. Meaning at the end of the day, we don't want, we, our success, success will be that we don't have to be there. They will, they, will, they will not need us. We don't want to build an empire that will, will, will replace the government or local municipalities. We like to be there 
hold them and then get out. Um, this culture of how we run a meeting, how we set up objective, uh, it's a, I can run like a high tech company. You see the quarterly meeting, the weekly meeting, the yearly meeting, the way we, we manage planet, budget, and so forth. Objective is very, very professional. And I think because we do work with a lot of organizations, we indirectly influence other organizations. We work with Rashi, you're probably familiar with Rashi. Sakta Rashi organization is the largest, one of the largest family foundation, Israel family from, this, from, from France, used to be the owner of Perrier. Yeah? They probably donate to Israel about $15 million a year. It's a lot of money to And they're involved in every place. And I think we, we have their partner, with, we partner with them. I think we influence some of their culture too, and the culture we brought in. The beginning of our, of our interaction with Rashi, they never speak about investing in management. We always just go to the kids. Money directly to the children. Now we talk about management, it's important and things like that, which is seen from, from our, from, from the interaction with us. IBM is dealing with um, three uh, major clusters of activity. All of them have the same common denominator, which is empowerment of the community. We would like to empower, we don't want to replace it. One cluster is education, the second cluster is uh, social leadership, and the third cluster is jobs in the periphery. Uh, in the periphery, uh, this state periphery for us is geographic periphery, but it's not like that. It's mainly uh, socioeconomic, and I can tell you which which place we are in today. In uh, education, we have several programs. The major one is what we call municipal intervention, which we work in Tiberia, in the Galil Panhandle, from Tuba Zangaria, which is the building village near Roshmina, up to Metula, including Kirachuna, all the Kibbutzim in the Moshevim area. The Rotten of Akim. And coming back to your question, we are now at the beginning of the dialogue with Lut, which is one of the worst cities in Israel, from the socioeconomic and environmental support, uh, to work with them. 